Hi everyone. I'm just trying to um, tag one of my hosts because she wasn't sure how to get on. Um, so I'm hoping. Hey, Maggie. Sorry, the door just shut next door. So, <laughs> hi Elizabeth. Thanks for joining. Um, let me just see here. I'm just trying to tag Kim. Hopefully she gets on. All right, let's get started here. Oh, okay. So it was uh, a little warm tonight, so I changed into a tank top, but I'm wearing my pajamas on the bottom, so hopefully a couple people are in their pajamas. <laughs> um, I was dressed, but I... Uh... Sorry, someone was coming to the door, I thought. Um, the, the dog next door rubbed up against me and got fur all over me. So I figured ah, I may as well get into my pajamas and hopefully some of you are as well. Um, hi, Sherry. Hi, Deborah. Thanks for joining. All right. So I'm going to jump right in. I've got seven people on and if anyone else comes on, they can catch up with us. So I'm just cleaning my glasses right now with our optic scarf. Um, our optic scarf is one of the best inventions ever. It, uh, this is the petite optic scarf. So the regular optic scarf is about twice this size. It comes with a little clip. Some of them come with a carabiner clip and they're great for all of your purses and bags. And they are going to clean your glasses without a smudge or a fingerprint left behind. They're also great for any of your screens. So your laptop or your phone or your tablet. Um, and they are safe for your glasses and for your screens. They will not remove any kind of protective coatings. This particular um, optic scarf is part of our host rewards. So if any of our hosts tonight get three bookings from their friends, they're going to get this for free. Um, if they get one booking, they're going to get a free window cloth. And if they get two bookings, they're going to get an Enviro cloth and a dusting mitt that I'm gonna show you afterwards. And then the third booking, they add on this optic scarf. So without further ado, um, I'm going to introduce you to our EnviroCloth. So the EnviroCloth is really the flagship product of Norwex. It's how um, Norwex started out. Um, this is a very densely, tightly woven <coughs> microfiber cloth. So what separates this microfiber from some other microfiber that you may find at the dollar store or at a, at a Canadian Tire or a store like that is that in order to qualify to be microfiber, the, the thread of the microfiber has to be one sixth the width of a human hair. Norwex actually uses their microfiber. They actually have their uh, thread one two hundredth the width of a human hair. So it's extremely fine and they have it extremely densely woven. Oh, Kim, good. You got on. Um, so if you were to unravel all of the thread in this Enviro cloth, it would stretch from here to the Gulf of Mexico. And that's how our microfiber works to mechanically clean. So mechanical cleaning means that it's actually removing things from the surface. So when you use water with it and you wipe down your surface, it's actually removing up to 99% of the bacteria from your surface, along with any kind of dirt or dust or crumbs or any debris that's left behind, just with water. Then when you rinse it out and hang it up to dry, and I like to use the tag just to hang it to dry, the cloth actually self purifies because it has something called backlock and that is a Norwex technology. So if you look at the cloths, it will tell you, this is the Enviro cloth and it will tell you that it has backlock. What backlock is, is it's silver that's embedded in the cloth and it works as an antibacterial agent. So as the cloth dries, the silver that's embedded in the cloth will go to work to um, smother and inhibit the growth of any kind of uh, mold, uh, mildew and bacteria so that the cloth doesn't smell. Um, the way that the, the silver is embedded, it won't come out. So it's, you have to think of it kind of as if you were mixing uh, creamer into your coffee. It, once it's in there, it's blended in and you can't remove it, you can't separate it. If you're familiar with these types of wipes, these are chemical cleaners. So the way that they work is they actually kill the bacteria on the surface. 
but then they leave it behind. So you still need to go and wipe down your surface with potable water and a cloth and um, make sure that you've cleaned it before you prepare any kind of food on it especially because you don't want these chemicals to leach into your food. Another thing about these chemical cleaners is that most people don't use them properly. So they have to remain wet on the surface anywhere from four to 10 minutes in order to be effective and to kill the bacteria. So you need to make sure that if you're using these that you read the labels and that you're using them properly or they are not effectively cleaning the, um, the surface the way that you think it is. It's not killing the bacteria. And then you still have to go ahead and wipe down with potable water and a cloth in order to remove the bacteria and the dead stuff that it leaves behind um, off the uh, surface. Um, Deborah, can you tag her in the comments? Maybe that will help her to find it. Um, she should be able to join if she's in the group, and I believe she's in the group because I gave her a number. So um, if you tag her in the comments, hopefully that will help her to find the, um, the group. And uh, maybe Elizabeth can tag her if you're not sure how to tag someone. You just do the at symbol, and then, Terry, I gave you a ticket number. I, I replied to your, your comment. Um, so you do have a ticket number. You can go back and check afterwards. Um, I'll be doing the draw at the end, but I, I know I definitely did give you a ticket number. You just maybe didn't see the comment uh, in time, but it's there, so you can go back and check afterwards. I just can't check right now um, what your ticket number is because I'm live. So. so I'm gonna set a timer for four minutes just so you can see just how long that is, and then I'm going to do a demo for you with the Enviro cloth. So one second. Whoops. I'm just gonna get my Enviro cloth wet with water here at the sink. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how this works to mechanically remove um, the bacteria from the surface. And I'm going to do that using a raw piece of chicken. So here's my raw piece of chicken and I have a protein swab. So what the protein swab does is it detects the presence of protein. If it's green, it means the surface is clean. If it's purple, it means it's it means it's detected the presence of protein. And these are used in the food industry. These are not from Norwex, they're called ProClean. And they're used in the food industry to, to um, test the cleanliness of kitchens and kitchen equipment. And so the health department would use something like this. But it's really effective for the test I'm going to show you. So I have my EnviroCloth um, tag side up. I'm gonna take my raw piece of chicken and I'm just gonna rub it on my countertop here. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up those little bits that came off. I'm just gonna wipe my fingers on the Enviro cloth because I had some bits of chicken on there. And then I'm going to wipe the surface where the chicken was with my Enviro cloth that's been wet with water. Then I'm going to take my swab and I'm going to swab the whole surface where I wiped and where the chicken was and I simply have to release the liquid into the swab. Give it a little shake, and it's green. So again, green means clean, purple means the presence of protein. And the other nice thing about our cloth is that because it's so densely woven, it won't transfer bacteria. So if I swab my cloth, and it's uh, picked up all of that protein off of the surface and where there's protein that's where bacteria can grow um, and I put the swab back in and it is still green so green means clean now if I were to touch the piece of raw chicken and put my swab back in it's turned purple because it's now got the protein on the swab so it's pretty impressive the way that it cleans um, I'm just gonna give it a little rinse, and I just like to rub it together. We call it par cleaning, so you press, agitate, and rub, or press, agitate, and rinse, I mean. And I'm just going to simply 
squeeze that out, no soap needed. And I can hang it up to dry and it's going to self purify. So all that bacteria, if there's any left behind in the cloth, is going to get smothered by the, um, the, the silver that's embedded in the cloth. Uh, next up we have our window cloth. So the Enviro cloth and the window cloth go hand in hand. Um, they are the dynamic duo, Thelma and Louise, whatever you want to call them. You're going to wash with a wet Enviro cloth and you're going to dry and polish with a dry window cloth. So the window cloth um, is a little bit thinner and it's a little bit uh, softer than the Enviro cloth. It's not quite as thick as the Enviro cloth. And this can be used on any of your shiny surfaces. So you're going to use this on your windows. You're going to use this on your chrome faucets. You're going to use this on your mirrors, anywhere that you need to shine things up. So that is four minutes. That's how long four minutes actually is. That's how long at a minimum, these would have to remain wet on the surface in order to be effective. I'm going to bring you over to my window. Uh, so that I can show you the window cloth. I'm just going to turn the light on here. So I'm just angling you up a little. There we go. So we don't have a glare. Uh, we're growing broccoli seedlings, so I just have to move them so I don't knock them off when I'm doing my demo. Um, so I have some peanut butter here. I'm going to show you um, how to how the Enviro cloth and window cloth work together. Um, I'm going to smear some of the peanut butter onto my window. So that's about even. I think this side's actually a little bit less. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, how the Enviro cloth and the window cloth uh, pair up against the blue stuff that we commonly use for our windows and the paper towel. So the nice thing about this is even though the cloths are a bit of an investment, you're not going to have to buy paper towels anymore. These are going to replace paper towels in your house. So you're going to save money on paper towels and you're also going to save um, waste from the landfill. Um, so I have my blue stuff here and I'm just going to spray it on. Technically, they tell us we should wear gloves if we're uh, using any of the chemicals because it can leach into your bloodstream through your skin. Um, I'm going to try not to touch it too much, but... So I am using the blue stuff, and I sprayed quite a bit on there, and my paper towel. And you can see I'm just smearing it around. I am removing some of it, but for the most part, just smearing it around and getting streaks, right? And now my paper towel is pretty much done. Um, it's pretty dirty. I can't really use too much of it anymore. Um, and it's starting to come off actually on the window. I don't know if you can see that from here. And so now I'm gonna have to throw this out and get more paper towel and spray more blue stuff to be able to clean it. Or I can just take my Enviro cloth And I always fold it into four so that I have eight clean surfaces. And this is the same cloth that I used um, for the chicken test. And then I'm gonna use our window cloth mitt. So I showed you our window cloth, um, which is sold with the Enviro cloth in a package called the Basic Package. But for spring, they came out with a new window cloth mitt. So this is basically just our window cloth uh, woven and uh, quilted into a mitt. So it just depends what you prefer. Hopefully you can see the window okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dry and polish. Okay, so no streaks. Now I'm gonna take my Enviro cloth and finish up the job that the blue stuff and the um, paper towel couldn't finish. It's so quick and easy to clean your windows. It really is a time saver and your windows will stay clean longer 
because you no longer have any chemicals on them for dirt to adhere to. So a lot of times when we're using chemicals, um, we're leaving some residue behind on our surfaces and then the dirt actually adheres to it. Um, if you're a fan of Pledge and you use Pledge on your wood furniture, Pledge attracts the dust, attracts the dirt, and then you have to clean more often. So my grandmother, the smell of Pledge will always remind me of my grandmother because she lived and died by that stuff. Next, I wanted to show you our dusting mitt. So this is really cool, a little hack that we have for you. So our dusting mitt can be used dry. You just rub it upon itself and get an electrostatic charge. And then you can use that dry and you can dust, you know, all of your surfaces. Um, if you have little figurines and statuettes and stuff like that, little uh, a cabinet full of little, um, collectibles you can dust them really easily by using the mitt but what i like to do with the mitt is i like to get it wet normally i would wet it under the tap um, but i'm just using my forever spray bottle and you're going to take it wet and you're going to use it on your screen and it's going to take all of the dirt off of your screen and just finish off your windows so that they're nice and clean so dual purpose for the dusting mitt. And then you can simply um, take it outside, shake it out. You can use the rubber brush to get all the dirt and dust out, um, or you can throw it in the wash, depending how dirty it is. To go along with our um, dusting, we also have the Enviro wand. So the Enviro cloth, window cloth, and dusting mitt come in a package called the household package. And then the EnviroCloth, window cloth, and dusting mitt and EnviroWand come in a package called the Household Plus Package. So this comes with a multi-use handle. The nice thing about all our handles is they are interchangeable. So if you needed more reach and you do have our mop, you can actually put the telescopic mop handle on here and get six extra feet of reach. Um, so if you have high ceilings, and you have um, crown molding or any kind of trim. I used to have a skylight, so I used to go up and dust the cobwebs out of the skylight um, and my ceiling fan. So this is really cool because you can just go ahead and dust everything, you know, without having to reach. You can actually dust your baseboards without really having to bend over. But what I really like is that it also bends. So if you have ceiling fans, and you know how hard it is to clean the blades of ceiling fans, you're gonna bend it into this shape and you're gonna put the blade through here and it will keep the blade um, from moving and then you're gonna be able to dust your ceiling fan blades. And also, um, if you have it straight, you can put it underneath the furniture, down the side of your appliances. It does fold up quite uh, thin, but it captures and gathers all of that dust with all of these little chenille fingers. So that is the Enviro wand. I'm gonna take you back over to the kitchen. I should have mentioned, I do try to keep the demo to about a half an hour so that you can have your evening back. Um, so I just have a few more things to show you and uh, then I'll show you the mop and we'll do the draw. I just need to grab my Enviro cloth. So the Enviro cloth, window cloth, and dusting mitt, as I mentioned, come in a package called the household package. However, um, they also come in a package called the um, Safe Haven 5. So the Safe Haven 5 is really everything that you need to start transforming your home into a safe haven. And I'm going to just take my plate here, and I've got a Sharpie marker, and I'm just gonna sign my plate. So I just wrote my name on the plate in Sharpie because I want to show you something in a couple minutes on the plate. I meant to do that at the beginning of the demo. So, uh, The fourth product in the Safe Haven 5 is the cleaning paste. So this stuff is amazing. Um, we, we call this the uh, five-year paste because it lasts forever. Some people, it's the seven-year paste. Um, it's a really densely woven paste. You can imagine I'm a consultant and I do a lot of demos and there's barely even a dent in it. A little bit goes a long way. We do call this elbow grease in a jar because anywhere that you need a little bit more extra elbow grease, this is going to help you out. It's amazing on your stove. Um, 
I have a gas stove for the first time in my life and this is incredible for cleaning it. Um, unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, unfortunately for you guys, my gas stove is actually clean on top, but my door is a little bit dirty. So I'm gonna take you over and show you really quickly on the door. So I'm going to use my Spiri sponge. This is a non-abrasive sponge, so it does not have backlock in it, um, but it's not gonna scratch your surfaces. So I'm gonna bring you over here and put you down on the floor. And I'm gonna open my oven door. And I'm going to angle you down a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully you can see. It's not too bad, but it is a little bit dirty. So I'm gonna take my paste and I'm just gonna put a little bit of paste on my Spiri sponge. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I had some baked on cheese there. Some baked on cheese here. And it's really just as easy as that. Um, obviously, this oven is about a year old. This is the first time I'm cleaning the uh, glass door. But obviously, if you have a, a dirtier oven to clean, it might take a little bit more work. And then I'm just going to take my wet Enviro cloth. And I'm going to wipe all of that off. And then I can see there's still a couple spots I'll have to go over um, that I couldn't see when the paste was on there. But really, it's just that quick and easy to get your stove, especially the glass door, nice and clean. So again, that's the cleaning paste. And now I'm going to show you my plate. So the reason I did the plate is um, a lot of our consultants are actually really loving the paste because if you have kids that color on things, you're going to use the paste, and you can see this is dry now. You're gonna use the paste to remove even Sharpie marker from your surfaces. So if you are using it on paint, though, I do recommend that you use it in a um, inconspicuous spot first just to make sure it doesn't remove the paint color and not to press too hard because you don't want to remove the paint color. Okay, so that Sharpie marker, you can imagine how well it works on things like crayons and stuff like that. So that is the fourth product in our Safe Haven 5 and all of the products in the Safe Haven 5 are also sold separately. Um, if you get the paste, I highly recommend that you get a package of Spiri sponges. And the fifth product in our Safe Haven 5 is our Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent. So this laundry detergent um, is great for laundering all of your clothes, your sheets, your towels, but it also works really well as an all-purpose cleaner. <clears throat> I keep mine in a spray bottle and I just put a teaspoon to eight ounces. So in actually half a teaspoon to eight ounces. So this is a 16 ounce bottle. I would put a teaspoon in here and anywhere that you need a little bit of extra soap to clean, you just use this in your bottle and away you go. It's going to help you clean your floors. We used it to clean our eaves trough. It was amazing. And it cut, it's a good grease cutter too. So you could actually put it in the sink, put a little bit of um, Ultra Power Plus with water in the sink. And if you have, um, you know, the fan grills that are on your stove and stuff like that and they get greasy, you can soak them and they're gonna come nice and clean for you. <clears throat> but as a laundry detergent, um, this is great if you have asthma, if you have sensitive skin, um, because it doesn't have any kind of harsh chemicals in it and it's not going to irritate your skin. It's the first time I ever changed laundry detergent in about 30 years. I used to use Purex and now I only use the Ultra Power Plus. You only need a teaspoon per load. It is ultra concentrated and a bag this size, which is one kilo, should last the average family of five up to about four months. So it's also biodegradable and septic safe. So if you have a trailer or a cottage, you can use this there. It has no phosphates, 
no sulfates, no chlorine bleach, no fillers, no optical brighteners, no animal testing, no dyes or fragrances. I'm not gonna get into it a lot in this demo, but I do urge you to look up things like body burden um, and endocrine disruptors. So when we're washing our clothes in things like Tide Pods, um, all of these chemicals are being left behind on our clothes and ultimately we're absorbing them into our, our bloodstream. And they're causing different types of things in our body. Um, it can lead to obesity, it can even lead to cancer eventually. Obviously that's a, a bigger buildup. But I urge you to do your own research and look at that and consider making the switch to something safer. And that goes for the other part of your laundry, the dryer sheets. So the dryer sheets are one of the worst carcinogens that we have in our house. Our dryer balls are 100% lamb's wool. I'm allergic to wool, but I can use these in the dryer because they don't stay behind on my clothes. Um, I do add a little bit of essential oil to them so I get a nice light scent. And they work as a natural fabric softener because what they do is they bounce around in the dryer and with your clothes and they help to naturally lift and separate your clothes so that they are soft and also so that they dry faster. So they will cut down on your drying time as well. They will last you about a thousand loads, so a long time, um, and some will last you even longer. <clears throat> all of our cloths and most of our products uh, have a, well, all of our products have a 60 day money back guarantee. Most of the microfiber has a two year warranty as well. Um, so if any, where anything were to happen to your cloth with regular wear and tear, it is covered by the two year warranty. I'm just going to show you a couple things with the kitchen cloths and then we will um, look at the mop and be on our way. So Deborah was asking earlier about the difference between a kitchen cloth and a counter cloth. So the kitchen cloth comes in a set with the kitchen towel or it comes in a set of three and it is your standard size kitchen cloth. They're also sold separately. The counter cloth comes in a set of three or a set of six with a house that you can put it in and it's a little bit smaller. So this is basically the same size as a select a size paper towel. It has this nice bubbly texture. It picks up everything on your counters really, really well. You don't even have to you know, sweep off the counter into your hand because you can simply swoop it up and scrunch it up, then go rinse it out and everything comes out into the sink. The kitchen cloth has a, a diamond texture and it's ribbed on the other side. And it's not really thinner, it's just, it's just different. And then the tags are slightly different on the two as well. Um, my preference is the counter cloth. I very rarely use the kitchen cloth. Um, just I find the counter cloths are my go-to. And all of our cloths are super absorbent. So I just wanna show you just how absorbent they are by comparing our kitchen towel, so this is basically like a tea towel with a standard cotton tea towel. Okay, you can see the difference in size. The tea towel is actually slightly wider. They're about the same length. And our kitchen towel absorbs up to a cup and a half of water, up to almost two cups actually. So I have a cup and a half of water in both these bowls. And I just wanna show you how super absorbent kitchen towel is. So there you can see it's soaked up the cup and a half of water. There's no water left in the um, in the uh, cup and I could still go ahead and dry this cup out because I still have lots of dry spots on my towel and it would be ready to put away. In comparison the cotton towel and this also has our backlock technology. So you're gonna hang it up to dry, the uh, bacteria is gonna get smothered and it's not going to stink. That's the best part about these cloths because I don't know about you, but my kitchen cloths used to stink. I could smell them as soon as I walked into the kitchen and then I would either bleach them or throw them out. So I was either putting chemicals into the waterways or I was throwing um, waste out because I was throwing cotton cloths into the, uh, the waste. So you can see this is still sopping wet. It still has quite a bit of water in the bottom. I um, mean, obviously you're not gonna be drying any more dishes with that. 
And then the same thing goes for our counter cloths. So our counter cloths absorb up to a quarter cup of water and our kitchen cloths absorb up to, I believe it's half a cup of water. So if you compare our counter cloth with a select a size paper towel, and I've got a quarter cup of water in here. Okay. There is the counter cloth. Again, there's still some dry spots on here. There's no, oh, there was a little bit of water left in there. but it would have absorbed it if I had actually um, moved it around properly, as compared to the paper towel, which is sopping wet and still has left behind almost the entire quarter cup of water, right? <clears throat> so reusable, waste, um, washable, and use them again and again and again. You can simply rinse them out, hang them up to dry. Um, with my counter cloths, I probably wash them about once a week just because we do use them quite a bit. Um, and I have the counter cloth house. This is not the colors the counter cloth house comes with. Actually, if you buy a three pack of the counter cloths, if you bought this color with the house, it would come with two packages of this color or whatever color you chose. And then I like to lay the wet counter cloth just over top of the house to dry. So I keep that by the sink and they're quick and easy to grab and ready to go. And the last thing I wanna show you in the kitchen is our netted dishcloth. So this is the netted dishcloth. It looks kind of weird. Um, the blue color is not available anymore. It comes in the graphite, the gray, but this is the one I had at my sink. And this is the dark horse of the kitchen. I love this cloth. It's great for scrubbing your dishes. You can use it to get the bugs off your car in the summer when you're driving up to the cottage or the trailer. Um, it's also just gives you a little bit of extra scrubbing power wherever you need it. Um, it's great on Pampered Chef stones. And if you're a baker, you're really going to appreciate it. So let me just make sure you can see my countertop here. So if you've ever broken an egg, um, dropped it on the floor, or dropped it on the counter, or you're a baker and you're just making a big mess, this is uh, flour, you know how hard it can be to pick up the, uh, the egg, right? So you're just gonna lay it over top of the egg. And then you're going to be able to very easily pick up the majority of your egg. And it's in there, trapped in there. You just rinse it out over the sink and you can see all of that yolk and everything is trapped in there. And then I would simply rinse it out and away you go. And I'm just gonna use my counter cloth to get the rest of this egg off of my counter. So that are some, those are some solutions that we have for your kitchen as well. Um, again, if you don't like stinky cloths, I highly, highly recommend that you switch out to Norwex. Um, if you want to host a party, it really helps your host out. And when they have five buying guests, they're going to get a free kitchen cloth. When they have eight buying guests, they're going to get a free matching kitchen towel. And when they have 12 buying guests, they're going to get a free uh, set of counter cloths. So all of the rewards from Norwex are completely 100% free and clear. They're yours. The only time you'll spend money is if you want to spend more than what you get in a credit. And I'm going to take you over here to show you our mop. So the mop is one of the number one reasons that people have a party because they want to get the mop for less. If you have a thousand dollar party, Norwex is going to give you $120 to spend and the mop is $129.99. So um, you can pretty much pay for the mop. Um, or, and, and sometimes we give away mops as part of our host rewards, but this month we are actually giving away the rubber broom, which is the same telescopic handle as the mop. And then you could use your credit to buy the mop base and then the mop pads, and then you'd have the rubber broom system and the mop system. And if you agree to host a party to get some Norwex for free, it really helps your host out as well. But I want to show you our mop. So this is one of the most coveted items that we have in our catalog. It comes with the telescopic handle, the disc you can actually use to balance on your countertops so that after you've mopped your floor, you balance it on your countertops so that your um, mop pad stays off the floor and can dry, and then it's gonna self-purify because it has that backlog technology in it. 
It also comes with the mop base. It comes with a dry pad and it comes with a wet pad. I'm gonna take you down to the floor. And the way that the mop works is the pads just Velcro on, so you simply just put it down and it Velcros on. It's not that my floors aren't dirty, but I'm gonna put some flour down so that you can see how the mop works. And when you're using the dry pad, you're going to want to adjust the mop up to karaoke height so that you have a little bit more control and reach. And with the dry pad, you're simply going to go in figure eight motions. And it's going to pick up all of the dirt, dust, hair, and debris on your floor, in this case, flour. And it's going to trap it right in the mop pad. It works the same way as a dusting mitt with an electrostatic charge. And then I would simply take my rubber brush and I'm going to take it and go over the garbage can and get all of that flour dirt dust out or you can take it outside and shake it off. Next I'm going to show you the wet pad. So there's a couple different ways you can use the wet pad. You can either wet it underneath the sink and wring it out. You can use a spray bottle like the forever spray bottle that I showed you before. Um, or Norwex actually came out with a spray mop attachment. Unfortunately, it's out of stock at the moment, um, but you can, if you're interested and you do have the mop or you're purchasing the mop, I can put you on my wait list for when it comes back in uh, stock. So with the wet mop, you're going to adjust it down to chest height. And with the spray mop attachment, you simply push down and it puts the water on the floor. And then you're gonna mop like you normally would your floor in a back and forth motion. And this is removing 99% of the bacteria from the floor with just the pad and water. So if you have little ones crawling on your floor or if you have little furry ones crawling on your floor, nothing's going to get into their bloodstream. They're not going to get anything on their hands or paws that they're going to actually put into their mouth because you're washing your floor with just water. Okay, so the other way you can get the mop, I already told you about hosting a party. Obviously you can buy it if it's in your budget. It's $129.99, it's worth every penny. It is a 60 day money back guarantee, warranty for two years, and the mop handle is actually warranted for five years. So 100% worth it. And then the last way to get it for free is to join my team. So if you were to join Norwex, um, right now we have something called the virtual kit. You join for $20 and there's absolutely no sales commitments, but you start earning 35% commission right away. If you happen to sell $1,000 in your first 30 days or $2,000 in your first 90 days, Norwex will send you the mop, the Safe Haven 5 kit, and a package of body cloths absolutely for free. And the other way you can join is you can pay $9.99 you get the kit up front, so you would get the mop, the Safe Haven 5, and the body pack up front sent to you. And then if you sell $1,000 in 30 days, 2,000 in 90 days, you pay nothing more. If you don't hit those sales commitments, you would pay $200 for the kit. And it's about a $270 value, so totally worth it. Um, if that's something that interests you, please just uh, let me know. Feel free to ask any questions. I'm very no pressure. Um, I'd be happy to answer your questions for you so that you can make an informed decision. <clears throat> And now I'm going to do the draw, and then I'm going to let you have your evening back. Um, if you're interested in ordering, I am going to place the, the host links um, in the party after this demo closes out. And you can order directly from the links. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, message me, and I'll be happy to help you out. Okay, this one fell out of the bowl, so I think this is the one. So this is number 492. So if you had number 492... You win a body cloth if you're watching. Please send me a quick message and I'll make sure that I get that out to you. So again, thanks very much for joining me. I'm sorry I kept you a little bit longer than I had intended, um, but I hope that you learned something tonight. And um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to message me. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Have a great night, everyone.